you can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Want it dead or barely alive? Your old or outdated computers, monitors, and televisions working or not? Don't trash it, recycle it. eCycle Washington makes it easy. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations in Washington may drop off unwanted computers, monitors, and televisions at over 300 locations statewide for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Jason Alexander, uh, you may not know that name. He's an actor. He played George Costanza on Seinfeld, his biggest role. Do you have to set it up like that, man? It makes you feel really old. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Uh, I have there to. There was once a time where, like, that was, I mean, you hear Jason Alexander, you don't need to explain who that is. Yeah, but it's a man that do. needs no introduction. Actually, he does. <laughs> he, now he does. Yeah. yeah, sorry, man. I'm with you, dude. Um, and he says that he used to get punched all the time in real life based on one of his acting gigs. And okay, you'd think, all right, if anybody watched the episode of Seinfeld, oh, yeah, I mean, George is the biggest jerk ever. So, what did people punch him because he was George? But he was a likable jerk. Exactly. I mean, yeah, he killed his wife, but I mean, that just had, you know, that happens oh, to the best. Yeah, of good us. reason. Okay, very good reason. Um, it was the envelopes fault. Yeah, it wasn't him. <laughs> You know, you look at how did he know he got bad envelopes? Danny's like, what? What kind of sitcom has a, a, an episode about killing someone's wife? I mean, it makes sense, but I just have no idea what you guys are talking about. Well, don't bother because it was a show about nothing anyway, so we're talking about nothing. <laughs> okay, cool. Technically, it wasn't his wife because they were doing the wedding invitations, right? Exactly. Fiance. It was his fiance. Oh, well, that makes yeah. sense. Right. Yeah, that's a whole different thing. And, you know, it's not his fault. Accidents happen. But you're right. He was likable enough that you could laugh at him. He never got punched for that. Actually, he got punched for a different role he played in a very iconic movie and i'll be honest with you i totally forgot he was in that movie i did too until i, I read about this this morning i was just like holy crap that's right he was in that film and it was uh i, I think you guys know this movie you better know the movie pretty woman right i know it i've never seen oh it. my god you if know honestly i rewatched it recently it's, it's a weird movie to watch now oh yeah definitely yeah <laughs> sensibilities <laughs> are definitely it doesn't different. hold up yeah uh, i mean Hey, let's make a fun comedy about a romantic comedy about a man who falls in love with his whore. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, it's it's the Cinderella story is really what it's, with it's a, a tagline like that, man. It is a modern day Cinderella. <laughs> but there's like some dark moments. And I forgot how dark the moment is that involved Jason Alexander. Like I went back and, and listened to the clip of him. In the, it was like a, a, a scene where he's trying to just force his way onto Julia Roberts, the prostitute yeah. in, the, in the movie. And man, when you listen to it, it sounds like George Costanza is doing it. You're like, when's Jerry going to step in? Like, this is ridiculous. What is this going on? But like, the actual scene is very dark. Yeah. And uh, this, of course, is uh, the role of Philip Stuckey that uh, J- uh, that uh, Jason played in Pretty Woman. And of course, this is 30 years ago. Uh, like that. So like Steve said, some scenes in movies that are that old do not hold up and disturb the hell out of you. Here's Jason Alexander talking about how he gets punched all the time because of him playing that character. Uh, it was an odd way to meet a national audience because I was <laughs> I was known around the world as the asshole who tried to rape Julia Roberts. And so women hated me. I would walk down the street and women would say mean things to me and I got punched many times. I got spit on by one woman. I mean it was it was a rough year. And then George came along and kind of softened things up. See it just proves that it's not just wrestling fans that are stupid. 
Oh yeah, and I'm a wrestling fan. But like when wrestling fans like get mad at like a character and like try and fight them and stab them, you know, outside of what they do on the show because they believe that that character is real. Like, I mean, you really wanted to hurt this guy because of a role that he played. It's insane. Mark Hamill talks about the fact that he plays Luke Skywalker. He said he was in a soap opera. Women would come up and slap him because of the character he played on the soap opera. I mean, it just they hated the character so much. But nobody's and, bothering Anthony Hopkins. Well, well yeah, he might eat you. Yeah, That's exactly. A good point. That's a good point. Yeah, you don't mess with a guy named the cannibal. <laughs> That's a solid point. Ooh. Yeah. It no, is, <laughs> yeah. I would love a documentary done on the people who are so upset with a, a person, an actor, that they decide to like lash out on them because of the roles that they play. That would be a great documentary. You know, like, what? I bet everybody's got a story. Yeah, because like, I want to get inside the mind of these. Like, some of these people are just idiots. Like, you're punching a guy who just was doing a job. Vicky, I would like you to confirm something if you would. Would you look up the movie Death Wish on IMDb and Charles see Charles Bronson? Yes. And see oh, a great movie. Yes. Well, here's who you don't know was in it. And there are some characters that they play characters who do horrific things, but you don't know they did. Like, for some reason, Jason Alexander were very recognizable. But Jeff Goldblum, is he in the credits for Death Wish? Yes. Okay. As Jeff Freak number one. He's so, in the beginning of the movie. He rapes. He, he does a horrible rape scene in the beginning of that movie, which I believe makes Charles Bronson lose his mind. Yes. I believe it's Charles Bronson's wife. I yeah. believe yeah. you're right. And, and, and I think the music of Guns N' Roses was used in that movie. Really? Yeah, that's a whole other thing. Sorry. Wow, I didn't. I didn't realize that. I thought the movie was older than GNR, but what? You maybe I. Have, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so Death Wish is, um, you know, is this is I. I had I forgotten the movie. Had seen it originally, but then after, you know, maybe 15, 25 years, watched it again. Of course, we have seen Jeff Goldblum in a ton of things since then. So I recognize him immediately Was I see him as freak number one. Freak do, number one. Doing something really, really bad. It was a really horrific scene, my memory of, of, this, of this rape scene. And I'm like, wow, Jeff Goldblum is the guy. Mm -hmm. And it's just like that. It's just uh, that's horrible. But how about you're just a guy that's just an actor? You took a role. It's like you hear about those stories of people that are like play like the reenactment of like a uh, like on those TV crime shows. Yes, and people call the cops on them because hey, it's like how dumb are you? Well, <laughs> yeah, you know what? Welcome to America. Welcome to our fine country, buddy. That's right. Yeah, welcome to our fine country in America. And I'm proud Woo! To be yeah. an American. Where at least I know I'm free. Are we though? I mean. Could I uh, could I question you on that, Mr. Greenwood? I'm this is sure. so funny, man. And, and how it took him to be George Costanza for people to start liking him. Uh, yeah, really. So, uh, he had to become a lovable jerk of a character as opposed to a real jerk of a character. So it says the Game of Thrones actors are having the same problem as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, Joffrey. Joffrey. Oh, like, that yeah. poor. Oh, yeah. the, oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Giraffe right from the, Toys R yeah. Us? No. Oh, no. No, that's Jeffrey. Uh, Jack Gleason. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Jack Gleason. Like, people hated him for being Joffrey because he's a little turd. Yeah, he and was. He's actually stopped acting, at least mm -hmm. for now, and is, like, doing charity work. Just, just to like, kind of fix his image? Yeah, I think to distance, distance himself from the whole character. Well, that sucks because when, you, when somebody does such a good job playing the heel, then to realize it's such a good job that you have to deal with that noise. Yeah, see, you're right. See, that would be a great documentary because there have been so many great evil characters. And I feel like everybody who does react that way to those kind of celebrities has, should have all entertainment taken away from them. Television, oh, yeah. phone, yeah, you have to prove, laptop. Yeah, you've got to go do a psych eval. Do you know what reality is right. and what fantasy is? You don't please? deserve fun things. No, you really don't. <laughs> uh, Sit in a gray box. Hey, there you go. <laughs> we got a, a story about this man that traveled 2,500 miles to accomplish something very cool and very immature. Steve will tell you all about it. He's got the Migs report for you at 617 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. You can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Wait, don't trash that used or broken computer, monitor, or TV. 
do the right thing. Recycle your unwanted or non-working electronics for free. You can recycle computers, monitors, and televisions with eCycle Washington. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations may drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. If you're hearing an informative newscast right now, well, then you must not be listening to BJ and Mix. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is The Mix Report. Well, thanks, you guys. Thanks to Mercedes Benz of Seattle for giving us the Mix Report. And today is National, I don't like this day, Hair Day. Oh, oh screw today. Today sucks. Wow. It's also International Coffee Day. Yeah. Oh, I'm having coffee right now. Which is, I think all of us are. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit different than National Coffee Day, which I think was like Tuesday. I don't know why it's now International. Well, so. because we've spread the joy Maybe outside of our own nation. If we could go to Canada, I would go to Canada and join a nice <laughs> cup of Tim Hortons coffee. Oh, I would go to Brazil, buddy. Go to go south. Ooh. I don't have my passport, man. I can get into Canada. Oh, I can't get into Brazil. Crying out loud. I can't get in anywhere right now. Yeah, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, you really can't. <laughs> Tim Horton, you know what? No more bits for you, buddy. You know what? Maybe just uh, put on a hockey jersey and go to Bigfoot Coffee. Bigfoot oh, Java. There right. we go. Or electric in Sumner. That's international. All right. Wow. That's even further south than Brazil, isn't it? I, Sumner? No, well, I mean, you know, that's a personal question, but uh, let's go with that. All right. Let's talk about this guy who uh, made a massive trek, which it's for a great cause. He did it for charity. It's also a pretty uh, creative thing to do, but I have to say it's one of the most immature and awesome things I've ever heard. And it actually started off here in Washington State. Yeah, thank you, immaturity in Washington. There's a, 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 a bicyclist. He decided to ride 2,500 miles, starting in Washington, finishing off in Ohio. It took him 36 days. Whoa. And the reason why he chose Washington to talk to Ohio is just great. He started in Poo Poo Point in Washington <laughs> and finished in Pee Pee Creek in Ohio. Oh, that is wow. awesome. This guy is my hero. Oh, that guy's great. Oh, if anybody knows him, I want to talk to him and just congratulate him. Well, here's audio of him uh, ending the ride laughing as he approached Pee Pee Creek. Dude, I'm, re- I'm really crying right now. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's, it's Pee Pee Creek. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what am I doing here? Oh, I feel... I feel good, though. I feel good. Let's go! Best part about this, also, is that he traveled exactly... No, he didn't. 69 miles each day until his trip was over. (laughs) Oh, that's awesome. Oh, nice. I'm sorry, but Ruben Lopez from Chicago, you, my friend, are today's hero. He's not even from Washington or Ohio. So he basically just started here... So he can start at Poo Poo Point. Oh, that is... Okay, this guy is the king. And then ended up in Pee Pee Creek, traveling only 69 miles each day. See, Ruben is the... He's the hero we need. Can we somehow make him president? Well, okay, that's an extreme thing. I was going to say maybe get him sponsored by, like, Schwinn or something like that. Is that a bicycle company? I, yeah, it used yeah, to be at yeah, least. Yeah, I don't know if they're the, the, the big guys anymore, but sure. I'll give him a bike or something. But think of what he's done. He basically accomplished what he said he wanted to accomplish. He's definitely got grit. He got it done, and he's got a sense of humor, and he brought us all together. Who doesn't Who doesn't love 69-mile trek every day going from poo-poo to pee-pee? Still not going to vote him as my president. Oh, for crying <laughs> out loud. Maybe geez. president of the Bicycle Wow. Rider. Okay. Association of America. Fine. He could be part of the 69 crew. Oh, he's definitely part of the 69 crew. He might be our, like, you know, sergeant at arms. Okay. Oh, wait, you're not going to let him be better than that? Oh, you're still in charge, huh? Yeah, I'm still, still president. president. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's a dictatorship, man. Okay, fine. Here at the 69 crew. All right, let's talk about this guy in Oregon not doing something as awesome as uh, as the bicyclist that we just talked about. His name is Gregory. He's from Oregon, and for the past 26 years, he's owned a health food store. That sells supplements and also organic fruits and vegetables and also meth. Oh, hey. He just got arrested for federal meth distribution and wow. possession charges. Uh, no word on whether or not he was selling the meth to his customers at his grocery store or if that was like an independent side thing. But uh, you still it's frowned upon to sell meth. I think they call that a front. 
you if think? I'm not mistaken. I think that's what they call <laughs> places like yeah, that. Good call. Can we give a big shout out to uh, the man, the myth, the legend? Go Hawks. Russell Wilson. What is what is uh, what is Cook and Russ doing these days? Well, for the second time in the first three weeks of the NFL season, he's been named NFC Offensive Player of the Week. It's not like he's done what no other quarterback has done in the first three games of the season. It's 14 touchdown passes through the first three weeks of the season are the most in NFL history. So congratulations, Russ. I'd imagine this is happening. Russ is getting banged. You know, he's a stud about that. Well, he right. is a stud about that. Just ask uh, anybody named Sierra. Uh, up next for the Seahawks, of course, they're heading on over to see the Miami Dolphins in Florida, and that game will start at 10 a.m., which breaks my heart yep. because I'm in the process of this whole crazy move thing. Oh. And the cable guy showing up at 1 p.m. on Sunday. No! <laughs> no! So I'll be watching the game on my phone. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll just put it up really close to my face. It'll be like that 65-inch that I just bought. That's perfect. <laughs> just like it. Tonight, Thursday night football, it's the Battle of the Losers. You got your 0-3 Broncos. Owen Versus the 0-3 Jets. Woo! One team. What if they wow. tied? Oh. I was about to say one team will leave with a, v- a win, but I really hope they tie. This is a very big game. Because it's a huge game. Playoff implications. For one person, Caesar. Yes. Oh, if man. they lose... You know, pretty much it's over for you. Have to stop being a Broncos fan. Evan! I mean, that is pathetic. Yep, it's easy. You got to stop being a Broncos fan and get ready to become an XFL fan again because Dwayne the Rock Johnson just posted on his Twitter that the XFL, the team that he, bu- the league that he bought, you know, because it was going in bankruptcy and they, Vince McMahon got rid of it. Yep. Returning spring 2022. Yeah, baby. And uh, the video shows like all the old teams, like Seattle being one of them. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that means that. That Seattle will continue to have the Dragons when uh, the XFL returns in the 2022 season. We were one of the better attended teams. I don't see why we wouldn't. Right. Us in St. Louis, I think, would be shoo-ins. Yeah. Uh, as Rock posts on his Twitter, it's an uphill battle. But we're hungry, humble, and no one will outwork us. A league of culture, passion, and purpose. Yeah, buddy. I, I do like that. If, do you if, think it's going to succeed? With the Rock? It doesn't matter oh. what you think. Nice. Uh, I had to. Wow. Wow. It's been a while. It has. And Cut I me some slack. And I fell for it. So. I didn't think you would. I even gave you the stupid poker face. Yeah, you did. But I was too busy really being excited about The Rock and his good attitude. <laughs> I am excited too, though. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Not a way I wanted to start this Thursday. Oh, Yankees beat Cleveland. They're moving on in the uh, Major League Baseball playoff world. Oh. I don't know if you noticed that. Really? Wow. Was, yeah. And I guess uh, Major League Baseball is going to start welcoming fans back. Uh, during the National League Championship Series later on this month, as well as the World Series. Uh, about 11,000 tickets are going to be sold for each game, which is about like nearly 30% capacity. I wonder fans, will have to wear fan, uh, fans will have to wear masks and all that stuff, too. I wonder why the American League Championship Series gets no love. Maybe they don't trust those folks. Those I, American leaguers. Well, the ALCS will be played in California, and the NLCS is going to be played in Texas. Oh, that's so, why. Texas is allowing 50% capacity at their venues. California does not. So. Yeah, California just let people go indoors and start eating again. And that just happened recently. So, yeah, they're the, that makes sense. Uh, well, in Florida, they just don't give an F. I don't know if you watched uh, the uh, Stanley Cup champion Tampa Bay Lightning. They were on a boat. They were drinking out of the Stanley Cup. Oh, they boy. had fans drinking out of the Stanley oh, okay. Cup that as well. Is, uh, I mean, come on. Guys. Somebody's like, for the NHL who just did the whole bubble thing, had zero COVID issues. And then as soon as they're done with the Stanley Cup, the Tampa Bay Lightning are like, screw it. It's time to get COVID. Okay. It's ridiculous. It's it's insane to see. I get that you're excited and you're celebrating, but you can just drink out of the cup with your friends and family that you know you trust to be around. Yeah, that is. you're right, dude. That's uh, good times. Yeah. As far as weather, 73 degrees. We're going to have some sun today. That's the major report, and that's what's up. So Papa Murphy's. They make the fine pizza. They got yeah. a big contest. Take it, again. bake, baby. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Take it, then bake it. All right? That's it. Enough? Good. $12 Tuesdays. Shout oh, out. Oh, all right. Yeah, solid. They're holding a contest where they're trying to find the person who has the oldest frozen pizza in the country. Oh, man. If Whoa. they did this before my parents moved out of their house in Brooklyn, oh, no. I would have nominated my mom. Because every time I go home, she's like, you want some pizza? We still got some pizza in the freezer. And it was the like Elio's or Elio's pizza. The frozen pizza? No, and they had it from way back when you were... It had to have been when they purchased it back when I was in college. Oh, that's Maybe a long time. Maybe even high time. school. Like, that, that pizza was probably in our, our freezer for a good 20 years. Wow. 
All you got to do, man. I and, wish I would have eaten it. Dude, it would have been easy because all you had to do is just take a picture of the expiration date on your oldest pizza, tweet it to Papa Murphy's, and that's how you're eligible. And if you have the oldest pizza, the three people that do, one year supply of fresh pizza from Papa Murphy's. How about that? Oh, and you get a new freezer and you get a gift card for groceries. Wow. I oh. want a freezer. Damn, my mom would have been hooked up. Maybe they kept it. Maybe they traveled with it, for all I know. You know, your your mom is a bit of a pack rat when a it comes pit. to her stuff. A gigantic pack rat. I was being nice. Yes. yes. She's a, yeah, I mean, they'd, she might be a hoarder, for all we know. I mean, I don't know how you bad it is. watch what you say about my mother. Well, listen, I didn't want to say your mother was a hoarder, but, you know, listen. You know, just talk to Marv Halbert. Hi, Stephen. It's Mommy. How you doing there? I'm having a tough time with BJ and his mean things he's saying about you. I'm just saying, Steve, your mother likes to hoard things. Yes! Okay, fair. Wow. And, of course, I am your father. I'm glad they haven't figured out the whole streaming thing. Yeah, that would be a really big... <laughs> your dad, you know what? Your dad and I, you know, your dad doesn't get along with many people, but I think he and I get along. Yeah, until the next was, time you see him, he'll punch you right in the exactly. face. Exactly. Oh, yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> what did you call my wife? Oh, yeah. As and as, I yeah. would sit back and smile. Yeah, I would be Every like, time okay. my dad has a meltdown, I find it hilarious. Yeah, I, I don't know how I would navigate that situation. Because your dad is still a very tall man, and even though he's older, he's still probably going to knock me on my ass. So, yeah, I would probably <laughs> not go to any reach. I wouldn't go to any family <laughs> functions at this point. Yeah. Yesterday, Steve, he did get this one right, but took way too many guesses. The popular children's book, Good Night Moon, was first published in what decade of the two, uh, 20th century? Decade of 20th century. The 80s. No. 90s. No. 2000s. No. Oh. 60s. No. 40s. Yes. Damn it. I got to tell you, Steve, if we gave you 10 guesses, you'd be amazing at this game. <laughs> Just say, I think we need, we need to rework the rules. I think that would be fair and give me two minutes to answer the question. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. Well, uh, luckily, uh, we haven't changed those rules, so you have a good shot at beating Steve. 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs at 647 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. Here's another question from a listener. If I can't afford to pay my bills, how am I going to afford attorneys and bankruptcy fees? You know, one of the things people ask me all the time as a bankruptcy lawyer is that, how am I going to pay all these fees and costs because I'm here because I can't afford to pay my bills? And I, of course, we understand that. I mean, being, being in, in the bankruptcy field... Uh, but you know, one of the things to remember is is that if you decide once you make the decision to file bankruptcy, you can stop paying on all of the creditors that are going to be included in the bankruptcy, and those are the funds that you can use that you have been paying your creditors to pay your your attorney fees and court costs to get your case filed. And once your case is filed, you're not going to have most of those payments anymore. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. If your tank water heater's over eight years old, you may be sitting on a ticking time bomb. It could start leaking without warning, causing far more damage than the loss of the heater itself. Consider replacing it with a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to leak, endless hot water for spa-like comfort, longer life, and backed by Navian's strong warranty. Before time runs out, visit TanklessMadeSimple.com for the name of your Navian contractor. Count on the wind.